there was a certain aspect of mentorship that happened in your life because of a teacher stepping in. So if you could sort of explain to someone who is kind of struggling, you know, they're feeling lost. They like a few different things that appear conflicting on the surface that, oh, I like maths, but then I like the arts as well. So who am I? And do I have to be one or the other? And you were fortunate that you had a, a teacher step in and sort of, you know, show you uh, how to overcome struggle? Yes, I think, you know, one of the tragedies of our education system is the siloing of subjects such that, um, you know, a student goes to the maths class and then goes to the history class, then goes to the music class and doesn't realize that there are, you know, these strands which are weaving through all of these subjects. Um, so I think, you know, I, I was very lucky to have the freedom to to do all of these things. And and, and as time has gone on, I've, I've begun to see those connections more and more. But I think, you know, for, for me, you know, this maths teacher just showed me ideas of things like the Fibonacci numbers. Um, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. You, they've got a pattern to them. That's another important word, which I think links the world of the arts and the world of mathematics, which is pattern. So the pattern is that you get the next number by adding the two previous numbers together. And so these numbers have interesting properties. The other exciting thing is that you find these numbers all over the natural world. And this is another key connection is that these structures that artists are interested in, the structures that mathematicians are interested in, very often are structures that we are already seeing being used by nature. And of course, that is what we're all doing. We're all responding to our place in the universe. And I think our creativity is, you know, a very powerful tool to understand how we navigate our way through the universe.